what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so in this video here today we'll be talking about several different topics we'll be going over halloween ends we'll be going over scream six we'll be going over the exorcist the upcoming david gordon green film and a sequel that may have already had a script turned in reportedly according to a scooper uh and then we'll round it out by talking about the i know what you did last summer legacy sequel that's coming in a, a new rumor surrounding that film so just to start off with halloween ends halloween ends we know did not release too long ago but recently danny mcbride who collaborated with david gordon green on the recent trilogy has replied to the criticisms about the lack of michael myers this came from a u.s weekly interview that was recently done um he said that he thinks that this is a valid criticism all three of these movies was really david david's sort of brainchild he had a very distinct idea of what he wanted to do with this and i just felt lucky that he brought me along for the ride to help him where i could and try to give him anything i could on it and when he told me his pitch for focusing on this core character i thought it was cool i thought it was a smart take on it i thought that it was a way to avoid repetition and to sort of explore something a little different and still try tying it into what halloween's ultimately about now the take on it itself yes i would say it was cool but why did it need to be last the unique approach to Corey, i genuinely feel could have gone over a lot better and worked a lot better as a trilogy opener while the 2018 movie was adjusted to be what halloween ends ultimately is which is our trilogy finale but you guys can let me know what you think about his comments down in the comment section well i genuinely am someone who again as you all might know if you listen to my review i don't dislike halloween ends i actually do quite like it but I'm also not one of those individuals who thinks that just because I like something that it is flawless. I think that Halloween ends definitely would have been received a lot better if there were some some tweaks to the story to, of course, avoid certain things happening. And if this story primarily was something utilized as a beginning of our trilogy rather than the finale, because Corey's introduction seems to kind of halt certain arcs that one could argue was established for several characters in the 2018 movie and the kills movie because then we shift focus to this random new guy and it's like what the hell but jumping into scream six scream six has crossed 90 million domestically so congratulations to the scream team all this to me just shows you that that small percentage of outrage we saw on social media for a year for months i would say had no impact like i've tried to tell people that in the reality it would not have because in reality most people do not and could not care any less about behind the scenes pay disputes that have no direct effect on them you can argue that well they should but again that's a mute argument when the point is that they don't <laughs> they simply don't as for scream 7 i've seen some people predict that the announcement could be coming as soon as this week since it would line up with the time that passed between scream 5's release and the scream 6 announcement that we got at this point i'll just sit back and relax because scream 7 is going to come at any point in the future but i'm pretty certain they might be trying to secure nev campbell and make an announcement with her simultaneously but we'll see i also wanted to touch on this joshua jackson comment that he made recently with cinepop he said he would be down to return to the franchise for scream 7 because he was not asked to participate in scream 6 but he would be down to to return to the franchise for scream 7 here's my thoughts joshua jackson's character was somebody we saw in the classroom bit of scream 2 so we now have a easter egg in scream 5 that confirms he worked with roman bridger so his character if he were to return could shed some light if that indeed of course was the same character that could shed some light on maybe his thoughts on roman bridger maybe we could get an update on just where he is in his life he don't he doesn't strike me as someone who would be any major player i don't see a reason to give him any major role because he didn't have a major role in scream 2 but it would be nice to see that character once more and maybe learn something about roman bridger from them and the time they worked together on dawson's creek since we know again that was an easter egg featured in screen 5 uh jumping into the exorcist scoop that i was going to discuss so scooper jeff snyder had this to say regarding the exorcist sequel that is coming after the upcoming david gordon green film uh, which is acting as a requel to the original movie while also questioning questioning if green would return to direct any sequels to this movie he said would it shock me if david gordon green didn't direct two and three of the exorcist sequels it wouldn't shock me i've heard that the script for number two has already been turned in and they've wrapped production on the first one i would be personally surprised if david did do two and three and i don't think his star wars movie is happening that felt like a non-starter particularly given how poorly those halloween sequels seem to go over now out of all of that the most important bit to me again was the fact that a script for a sequel has reportedly already been turned in so that tells me 
that we could be on the similar path here like with his halloween trilogy we could have the exorcist requel sequel this year well not requel sequel the exorcist requel i guess this year and then the sequel to the requel next year and then the third entry the following year he could follow like a similar format of what was intended for the original halloween trilogy before everything was interrupted with the pandemic and stuff but time will tell if that is what will happen what do you guys think on this report from jeff snyder that apparently the script for the second entry has already been turned in what do you think will take place in the second entry even though we haven't even gotten the first one which is scheduled to release later this october uh and again jeff snyder is someone who i would say you can find very reliable i believe he actually was one of the first people to report on david golden green's involvement in the 2018 halloween project so if you guys guys have any doubts about jeff snyder i would argue that he is very reliable when it comes to these scoops but i do want to touch on this last bit regarding the i know what you did last summer upcoming legacy sequel that we know sony has in mind courtesy of the success from the recent scream revival now this is coming from Cinestealth. this is just a rumor he's saying that or they are saying freddie prince jr is playing hardball over i know what you did last summer the rumor is he's trying to get a bigger paycheck after the success of scream 6 plus sony's new commitment to horror ip i think he'll get it now here's the thing this kind of goes in line with i guess what he was saying recently about how he hasn't spoken to anyone or hasn't committed to anything but he did speak to the director and was kind of sounding like he was upset in that two fab interview he did recently speculating on or questioning why a report came out mentioning a movie he might not be involved in i mean taking a stance like that and knowing that it could spread like a wildfire in the media that would be a very smart way to, to secure the fact of them offering you one of the biggest paydays in your life because now you're perceiving you're portraying yourself as someone who wouldn't want to participate or might have doubts about participating sounding like you're on the fence and in response to that they will see this and know that they should offer you as much money as they can think of to secure you if they are if you are someone they want to really have involved with the upcoming film and again i know that there are several people who would prefer to see the character of ray back before julie because again there is this notion that julie is not the best final girl which i can understand from some perspectives i do not find her to be a terrible final girl i will throw that out there but you guys should let me know what your thoughts are on all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video